Okay guys, a quick little vid. Uh, here's my little motor running. And I've made a little modification to the motor which uh, the guys at Energetic Forum have asked for a little um, demonstration. So what I've done is I've attached a relay coil, like in the schematic, to the trigger circuit in between the potentiometer and the um, the trigger coil. So yeah, that's my relay down there. I'll show you a picture of that in a minute. There you go. And what I found with this relay coil in the trigger circuit, for some reason it's um, drawing a lot less amps, a lot less power, and it's going at approximately the same speed, which is nice. Um, another feature is uh, the coils don't self-resonate at all. I can't get them to resonate while the um, while the relay is in the trigger coil. And um, yeah, and very very slow acceleration, which is why I'm showing you once it's got up to speed, because otherwise it's going to take five minutes of the video just watching it accelerate. So here I've got uh, my ammeter there, so it's drawing 290 milliamps at the minute and going at 2,453 RPM which is pretty good oh, it's slowing down a bit for some reason oh, anyway so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take out the relay, or the relay coil and I'll show you the kind of performance it does normally without it in uh, just to show you the difference between them so, back in a minute it's pretty much up to top speed without the relay in the trigger circuit. I've just connected the two wires together there. And we can see it's going at 2,460 RPM-ish. And it's drawing 530 milliamps. So, yeah, with the relay coil in the circuit, it really seems to make a difference to the behavior of the motor. And we have a few theories about um, why that happens. Uh, and if you want to know more, go check out the Benini SSG thread on the Energetic Forums. Okay, so this is the relay I'm using. And you can see that there's a coil in the relay. This is a 6 volt relay, by the way. I don't know whether using a 12 volt one will make a difference or not. Or using a smaller one. Anyway, you can see there's a coil there, and on the top there's 6 pins up here, which are for the throws and then up here are two pins which connect to the coil um, yeah, so what you want to do is uh, connect your trigger coil up to these two pins so that it's in series with the potentiometer and uh, yeah, um, I haven't heard many people have had much success with this uh, so I'd be interested to see what other people's results are. I'm sure the size of the coil makes a difference because I have tried putting two of these in series and I haven't had as good results and I've also tried putting them in two of them in parallel. Again, not as good results. So uh, it looks like this coil might be pretty well balanced for my circuit. Yeah. So yeah, give it a go. I say if you want to find out more details about um, this coil in particular, I posted the dimensions and uh, what the core material possibly is on the energetic forums. Uh, there's lots of information on there and uh, we can try and get some more results on this thing. So, go on, give it a go, I'll catch you later. Enjoy.